uh, good afternoon. Uh, my talk is about uh, monitoring the fast moving uh, landslide in three gorgeous area by using the offset tracking method with high resolution radar image. Uh, this is the outlines of my talk. And uh, this is the test site, the three gorgeous area. And here is the three gorgeous thing. As you know, the three gorgeous uh, project is uh, one of the largest uh, uh, hydroelectric project of the world. Uh, this uh, reservoir uh, is a long, to have, the, have a length of about uh, 600, 600 meters. And the, what, what level of the reservoir is uh, in low stepped uh, from the 100 to the 135 meter and then to 156 meter and then finally the 175 meter. Along with the increasing what level uh, a lot of the geohazard uh, aroused, mostly the, the landslide in this area. For example, uh, this, this landslide uh, occurred the, uh, in, nine, in the July 24th, uh, 15th, 14th, 2003, just after the first uh, impoundment of the uh, Three Gorges Reservoir. Uh, the name of the landslide is the Qianjiangping landslide. Uh, as, as you know, the deformation or the movement is the key point for monitoring the landslide. And interferometric interferior SAR can uh, detected this small or the slow movement. And also, to overcome the limitation of uh, differential INSA, uh, the PS INSA and all the, the time series analysis method was proposed. Uh, in the last year's presentation, I discussed the results from the PS INSA. And in this test site, we also collected the, the two data sets of uh, Tesla X date. You, uh, one data set is, is strip map, uh, map mode, and another one is a spotlight. This is a high resolution date, uh, about one meter resolution. And this is the uh, amplitude image of the test site. And there's in, the, in this coverage, uh, there's uh, several uh, landslides. Uh, this one is the Qianjiangping landslide I just mentioned. And also, this is the differential interferogram from the, from the, the interferogram you can see the chain jumping landslide uh, might be uh, stable after the, after the crash in 2003. And in this study, we will focus on the Fang Jiaping this landslide and the Su Ping landslide. Uh, the, the obvious uh, deformation. And in Fang Jiaping landslide, we uh, use PS INSA, we can de derive the uh, deformation distribution. There are uh, obvious deformation, and the deformation rate is about five, five centimeters per year. And also, the deformation uh, is correlated with the water level uh, change. 
next this line. But why we still uh, would like still introduce the point like the target offset tracking method? We can see uh, we use inside methods we can uh, detect the slow like this, like the, the phase one, phase two, phase three. The, we can detect the uh, slow ch change in the movement. But if there's a if there is the faster movement and the inside, that the different inside is difficult to catch the uh, the movement. So uh, in this case, for example, in the swooping lens right from the differential interferometer, uh, we can see there's the obvious uh, movement. And this is the lens right, the picture of the lens right. You can divide the lens right into the two box blocks. And um, block one is much more uh, active than the block two. And this is the block one and block two. And we derived the deformation uh, distribution from the PS inside. In this result, the deformation rate is uh, less than uh, one, centime one centimeter. It's uh, not so, so large. But, there is, but from the differential interferogram, there is obvious deformation. So there might be, there might be the, on, on the estimation uh, in this, this lens right, in this case. Uh, according to the report from the journal paper uh, written by the Professor Miao. This, uh, during the nine, 2008 to 2009, there is uh, a faster uh, movement, uh, more than uh, one meters uh, per year. So in this case, uh, there should be the, on the, on the, the on the estimation in this uh, result, in our inside result. So uh, the point is how to uh, catch the faster uh, movement uh, by using the high resolution radar image. So the av available approach is the point, uh, is the, the offset tracking uh, method. Uh, about the about the method, we can uh, find the detailed the distribution uh, in this uh, journal paper. Uh, I will not uh, uh, give uh, spend more time, much time to explain it. And we can show you some uh, a preliminary uh, result. Uh, in this in this uh, area. There are lots of uh, corner reflectors, and also there are four corner reflectors outside the lens slide, and they, may, they might be the uh, reference points. So this corner of reflectors, the, the corner reflectors uh, will be a, a good point like uh, targets. And this is the result uh, from the point uh, offset tracking uh, method. Uh, the result is from the <coughs> high resolution uh, data set. Uh, this result is the azimuth direction, the deformation in the azimuth direction, and this, this picture is show the uh, deformation of which the uh, range direction. So the INSA uh, can, uh, from this result, INSA can capture, can catch the, uh, the faster uh, deformation or the movement. And we can, uh, this is the, uh, 
we are profiles of the uh, movement from the uh, 2000, 2009, the uh, February, February 2000, 2009 to uh, November uh, 2000, uh, 2009. And this result is uh, highly consist consistent with the, uh, the report we I just uh, mentioned from the, the uh, journal paper. And this result is in the uh, show that the result, the deformation uh, distribution from the, uh, the block two, also from, uh, with the uh, high resolution result. And also, the, we also pr process the, another data set. We can get a similar uh, result. I can show you the result, and almost the same. Uh, tendence, tendence. And finally, I we come to the, the conclusions, short conclusions, the INSA, and the point like target offset checking, a powerful uh, tool, maybe the, uh, a powerful uh, tools for the lens light surveillance. And INSA is efficient in the slow movement, the slow moving the lens light monitoring and of the checking method is uh, effective to catch the uh, faster uh, movement of the lens light. So uh, in our case study, preliminary results with the high resolution uh, Tesla X state are consistent with the uh, GPS measurement uh, yeah, thanks. So, uh, thank you, Professor Liao. Uh, maybe we had time for one to two questions, uh, if there is any question. So, uh, so may I ask you a question? <laughs> because, because I know that, uh, as far as I know, the, the offset tracking is usually uh, good for the, for example, the, the smooth surface, like uh, ice flow. Uh, for, for, for this kind of deep um, topography, is there any limitation mm. for, the, for the offset tracking? Yeah, the key point may be the identify the point like tucked. So we use the, the, the use of the, the corner refractor here so we can uh, uh, get the uh, accuracy. Uh, they can improve the accuracy. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay.